Hello, Michael Bull here with America's Commercial Real Estate Show. We're in Nashville at Realtors Land Institute National Land Conference. We have Gary Moore with us. Gary is an advisor with Southern Middle Tennessee Great Outdoors. And uh, Gary, I met you yesterday. We were talking about conservation easements. And I think uh, uh, I'd like to hit some of the highlights of a conservation easement. And, and you guys are helping people do those with their land. So tell us, why should someone do a conservation easement, a landowner? I've been working at this specifically for the last five years and several years before that. But what I'm seeing now is our age groups are getting older, the baby boomers. They own most of the land, and they have a sincere uh, desire to see something about their land stay a land, a farm, a forest forever. And forever means that, uh, Michael, it means that it's going to stay that way till the end of time. Now, I've seen grown men break out in tears when they think about what great-grandpa or grandpa or somebody let them have their 200 acres, and now they're at a point in their life, what are they going to do with that 200 acres? Are they going to be able to pass it on down or sell it to someone? And hopefully they're going to keep it as a farm or a forest. So it starts with that head and that heart working together to decide to protect that farm from development because that's what they're doing. They're saying no to my kids, your kids, everybody else's kids, that there will never ever be another mall or subdivision on that piece of property. But they can still use it for what? Farming. That's what we're wanting, number one, agricultural use. That's If we're going to protect it to keep it as a farm, we want it used as a farm. If it's a forest, and I have to make sure I talk about forest because it's a lot of it in the United States now, there are people that want to see it managed very, very carefully to the point of with really strict timber harvesting management plans, they can also harvest the timber. So I don't want anybody to think they cannot harvest their timber, but we're going to use some very good forestry planning to do that. Okay. And how about hunting? The land still be used for hunting? Sure. Uh, I've been asked sometimes, can you protect my fish, my deer, and my turkey? No, no one can do that. <laughs> so we don't interfere with the wildlife hunting rights or anything. That is up to who own, whoever owns that farm. Okay. And there's some tax advantages as well, right? Oh, that's a great incentive, and it's really driving it. These days, it became official in 2016. The new laws that the federal government through IRS has set forth, uh, it takes a little bit more time than this to talk about, but it's significant to the point that anyone who is, I talk about that proverbial fence in the middle of the road that can't make that final decision to do it or not, the income tax deduction, the federal income tax deduction, not the state, but the federal income tax deduction will help them get off the fence one way or the other decide if they want to use that tax deduction. Yeah, that's, that's amazing. Now you're here at the National Conference for Realtors Land Institute. What would you say to people in the land business around the country uh, about the association and about the event? This is my first time and here as a presenter and they gave me two presentations so I can't think anything but great thoughts <laughs> just right off the bat. Yeah. And I've enjoyed being here. I've met a lot of people. The networking and partnering here is phenomenal. I've, I've been in USDA, uh, NRCS government for 37 years before I retired into this, so I've seen a lot of people, met a lot of groups, but this ranks near the top immediately with me and working with people that are really interested and they want to hear what you have to say. And then I think there's going to be several go home and try to apply it and maybe even give me a call for asking for more advice. Yeah, well, that's great. Well, Gary, thanks for sharing your wisdom. Okay, thank you, Mark.